Do you know an athlete that's taking podiums in all of her competitions is ready to compete? You can see her taking a deep breath. She's getting that focus ready. Oh, I'm excited for this run. Absolutely. Ranked fifth in the power rank. Got the grand champion ranking, which is the highest you can possibly get. Qualified for four different regionals last season. Really ran the comp circuit and tried to gain as much experience as possible. We're going to see that first, now. First two obstacles already. You see her just attacking. She is going for it. No hesitation going to that second set of mini throwbacks. On to the third and dismount. She knows exactly where she's going right into that slider. Ooh, the balance you can see falls right down, but <laughs> she's quick on her feet. I was a bit nervous right there. Those, uh, those boxes do tip, but look at this build she's got. Very quick through the trapeze swing. I think we're going to see right there. over. Oh, absolutely sub minute. And there we go. 50.05 seconds. Wow. Mia Law takes the fastest time on the placement course and will be running last on the challenge course. What an absolute throwdown from Mia today. Well, we only have one female athlete left to compete, and that is Mia Law coming to us from Ninja Nation. Lots of great athletes coming out of Ninja Nation. Will we see our kids female athletes get deeper into the course? I'm hoping that Mia can get past that fourth obstacle. Mia has an insane resume. Tier one Southeast regional champion. Oh, but stepping down after that second log is actually going to cost her one of her retries already. A simple, small mistake like that. And now she's, the pressure's on. She's gonna have to uh, play it a little more carefully, pay more attention to where she's walking. And there we go, now with the dismount. As I was saying, though, our Southeast Regional Champion got seven. Ooh, a skip. Whoa. That was a smart move for Mia. She completely went past that switch grip, which was not only faster, but actually risky in that you could hit your head, but less risky in that you're going to a nicer, um, a nicer trapeze bar as opposed to a kind of awkward techie grab. Mia deciding to go with the approach that Mila just took go into those handles a bit taller we should be able to make that second grab oh oh and built her fingers off as well and it's looking like these ladies need to crank that swing just a little bit more get a little bit more um height to get those hands over the inside of the mini throwback this is her last retry building up the swing did she learn from her first attempt Yes, she did. I was about to say, we saw out of her first attempt that she had the distance for it, just didn't get as big of a pump. But as we're seeing now, she's learned from her mistakes, not only lands the second, but the third as well. However, that is going to use up both of Mia's retries, which means that any fail after this will end her run officially. We'll see if she'll even need that or if she'll be breezing through the rest of this challenge course. On to the spinal tap which i don't think i've seen before what smart moves Brett <laughs> this obstacle i think we'll see used a little bit differently throughout our various age divisions today now mia has 45 seconds on to the third to last obstacle Ring slider. Lots of ring sliding today. Coming up to Deja Vu. Classic obstacle. Very techie. Going to have to make a big hop up on that bar or just go straight for the dismount. Misses the ring. And without a retry in her back pocket, that is going to do it. But Mia Law makes it to the second to last obstacle. Great run. Even despite a couple slip ups here and there. We saw some big moves, including that skip and a correction on the toss-up as well. Great to see Mia overcome 
those obstacles and, and figure out the technique as she went on. I think if she had had that second retry, she likely would have had the deja vu obstacle pretty solid.